Hey, shalom, shalom, Israel. First and foremost, I would like to give our praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai, Basham, Akakodash. Give our honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to you, brothers and Aries, and by ways, preaching and teaching this word in sincerity and in truth. Now, this is your brother Shapal from the Jamish Jamaica camp with a quick lesson. And, you know, it's based upon for the fact that Israel, you know, uh, will rule this earth, you know, and I'm speaking about the earth that we're on now, you know, not the mythical one where Christians have believed that it's going to descend from heaven and this earth is going to be destroyed, meaning explode. So Chinese Ecclesiastes said the earth abide forever. Um, so Israel is going to be the new rulership. Now. You so-called Negroes, Hispanics, Native American Indians, you know, um, the elect of the nation of Israel, you know, is going to be that governing body over the earth, right? And the point of this lesson is based upon our lesson where um, our elder brother did, you know, and it is based upon the fact that, look, true Israel will all the earth be blessed, all right? And when we look upon the earth right now, right, the earth is cursed because of who is in authority. It's just that the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. Esau is the one who is ruling now. Therefore, the earth is cursed, man. Look at the seas, the pollution. You know what I mean? The, the, your food is killing you. You know? Everything that is bad, man. Right? The earth is cursed. Or pe people, day in, day out, mourning, man. Right? All the races are the earth mourn. Right? Scripture says, when the righteous are in authority, right? Um, the people rejoice. But when the wicked earth rule, the people mourn, man. And the earth, everyone upon the face of this earth can safely say, they're living in mourning because of the setup of this earth, man, who is in authority. Now, when Israel is set up through the power spirit of Yahweh Bash in Yahushai, because the Lord is going to come and conquer, and Yahushai is going to dwell, man, Prince of Righteousness, right? See? And through Yahushai, we're going to be joint heirs, man, and through us, will the earth be restored through its fullness, you know what I mean? And, and we will rule. And this is scriptural. Regardless what our people want to say, or even of the other nations want to say, oh, it is scriptural that, look, Israel, who was set up from the foundation of the earth to rule, is going to rule, man, regardless. And all of the earth will be in subjection, and through us will the earth be blessed. You cannot get any blessings out of way from coming through Israel. All right? That's a chain of command which is going to be on the earth, man. You have to come to Israel, you know what I mean, to be blessed, man. All right? Um, this is Genesis 12 and verse, we start at verse 1. It says, And the Lord said unto Abraham, Get thee out of the country, of thy country, and go from thy kinders and from thy father's house into the land that I show unto thee. All right? And you know, age, um, uh, Abraham was brought up around a lot of um, idolatry and iniquity, man. You know, so the Lord take Abraham out, all right, and um, through Abraham, you know, the Lord is going to establish a covenant and a promise, all right, and the scriptures speak about the Lord that cannot lie, all right, and this promise still holds up to today through many generations, man. Continuing it, uh, and I will make thee a great nation, and I will bless thee and make thy name great. And thou shall be a blessing. And I will bless them that bless thee, and curse them that curse thee, and all the families of the herd shall be blessed. Now this this promise is given at Abraham. However, we know that Abraham passed. However, this was not only for Abraham, and this promise was handed down to his seed. Because if we are seed of Abraham, then we know that the blessings which pertained to Abraham, which Abraham was would taught the words of Yahweh Bashi now shy to his seed, you know, then we would be joint heirs, man, and we would receive the same blessings. Now, today we are the seed of Abraham, man, right? And we're going to show you specific because Abraham have, um, Abraham have a lot of, uh, um, a lot of child, children, basically. But there was a specific lineage which have received this blessing, man, all right? And just to show for all the, the chapters out there, man, look, we are looked at as bums and whatever now, man. And we know 
a lot of this w which we're saying, it now go pass through a lot of people's ears. But this is only for the elect of the nation of Israel. You understand? See? Because people don't think that we could ever be anything but Negroes, Hispanics, Native American Indians, pigs, wet box, and all of them things, man. All right? All right, so let's continue. <coughs> all right? Uh, Genesis 24, uh, 26, sorry, verse 4. And I will make thy seed to multiply as the stars of heaven. And I will give unto thy seed all these countries. Right? And in thy seed shall all nations of the earth be blessed. All right? To all of the countries, man. And I would say, this was back in the time of Genesis, man. This was back um, umpteen years ago. However, in today's um, time span, this blessing still stands for us, the children of Israel. And we're going to show you that he's speaking about you so-called Negroes, the Spanish state of America. There's still hope, you know what I mean? Because of the blessing where Yahweh Shai, um, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, had blessed Abraham, man. The promise that he had made with Abraham, that is the reason why we have salvation. We can look forward to salvation because he had promised that promise to our forefathers a long time ago, man. Right? And this is the time when the promise is about to fulfill. And our people, man. Right? Our people, because we got through the punishment. Right? Just for a lesson for sure that, look, you cannot, and, and in real life, you cannot obtain a kingdom without going through certain battles. You know what I mean? Just for obtain and we see how precious certain thing is. So when we come back to our, our um, true nationality and we understand that we went off and all these things happened to us, then we appreciate we appreciate that we appreciate it man and when we get our kingship we will know better to rule because we have been through decades ages you know what i mean thousands of years worth of punishment man and ridicule and be at low now we are going to be better kings man and we're never going to go off again right um so let's continue just for that, you know, um, he said, I will make thy seeds to multiply the stars of heaven. I will give unto thy seeds all thy seeds, um, these countries, and they shall, and it's like, yeah, and in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed. Not some, but all the nations of the earth. You name it. Because that Abraham obeyed my voice and kept my charge, my commandments, my statutes, and my laws. All right? So, just to prove. Sorry, that the seed we're speaking about is uh, not Ishmael nor any other, seen, but Israel. This is Romans 9 and verse 7. It says, Neither because they are the seed of Abram, they are all children. But in Isaac, in Isaac shall thy seed be called. Right? The scripture said, In Isaac shall thy seed be called. Man. Right? So that specific promise that the Lord had promised to Abraham's seed, it is it is going to be fulfilled through Isaac, right? Which Isaac begot um, Jacob, and then Jacob name changed to Israel, and Jacob bestowed that same blessing upon Israel, man, and his and his offspring. Now we are the children of Israel coming back today, you know, looking forward to that same blessing because Scripture speak about a God that cannot lie. And his word transcends to all generations, man. So that is what we're looking forward to today. All right. Verse 8. Uh, that is, they which are the children of the flesh, these are not the children of God, but the children of the promise are counted for the seed. You understand? Same. So let us speak about the children of the promise, man, which is in Isaac and the down to Jacob. Right? The promise that the Lord made, man, umpteen years ago, it still stands. The scripture speaks about the Lord that cannot lie and the Lord changing it not. This promise is for us, no care how bad our situation is right now. There is a promise that the Lord that promised unto us, man, right? And we are here right now, you know, waiting to obtain that promise, all right? Um, let's just get another account. Right, 
just to drive the, the, the point further this is um, Acts 3 and verse 24 right and it reads yeah and all the prophets from Samuel right and those that follow after and as many have spoken have likewise foretold of these days ye are the children of the prophets and of the covenant of God which uh, covenant of God made with our fathers right saying unto Abraham right his our fathers are there is representing of Abraham Isaac and Jacob right the same um, line which we just speak of a while ago in um, Romans and in Genesis right and thy seed shall all the kingdoms of the earth be blessed right so we are going to perform the same works that Yahusha performed right we're going to be joint ears with Yahusha we're going to get a scripture of proof that um, further on right let's just continue verse 26 unto you first Yahweh having raised up his son Yahweh sent to bless you in turning away every one of you from his iniquity so that's the reason why Yahweh was sent you know what I mean Yahweh sent Yahweh you know what I mean as that sacrificial lamb to bring us back you know what I mean to bring us back into the fold because we were once uh, Gentiles, you know, I mean, speaking about <laughs> our nation as lost, that which we, we, we were supposed to, our tradition and our culture being as Hebrew Israelites, man, right? And that's why even today we can't even distinguish. You tell a man saying he's a Hebrew Israelite, a man would rather be anything under the sun except for his true nationality, man. And that's why Yahweh died, right? So that we can today can get this, but this knowledge. You know, so we can gather the elect, man, right? After we gather the elect, right? Just like in you know, the time of uh, um, uh, Moses and uh, Noah, you know, gathered the elect, all right? And when the Lord, when the elect is finished, still the Lord is going to press a reset button, man. All of this setup, you know, is going to be a different thing, you know? Um... Let's just get another scripture uh, just to prove our point, man, because we speak about um, joint ears with um, Yahawashai. All right? So this is Psalms 2. Uh, let's start with it. All right? Mm, let's see. All right, let's start a verse. I mean, all of it is good. We just want to get a point. Let's start a verse 8. Let's go um, get the point. All right. Uh, a matter of fact, let's start at verse 7. Mm. All right. Let's start at verse 7. So I will declare unto thee. It's like I will declare that um, the decree, right? The Lord hath said unto me, Thou art my son, and this day I have begotten thee. All right. Ask of me, and I will give thee the Eden for thy inheritance and the uttermost part of the earth for thy possession right so the Lord said what he's going to give um, Yahweh he's going to give Yahweh Shai the Eden where's the Eden anyone that is not of the house of Israel for thine possession right because Israel is the Lord's portion right Israel is the Lord's portion man Right, you can read that in the you know, the book of Jer Deuteronomy when the Lord divided the nation and take Israel unto itself. Israel is a large portion. Israel was supposed to show forth that priesthood which represent Yahweh Yahweh Bashim Yahshai upon the earth. Now the scripture says what? Right here it says um it will give them give the Lord Yahweh Shai the Eden for thy, thy possession. Meaning when the Lord comes back, man, I'll, um the earth and all of these nations, which is speaking about in the, all of the scriptures that we read before, Yahweh is going to get all of these nations, right? The scripture tells us that the Lord is going to come through conquering, and on his head sat many crowns, right? So the Lord, Yahweh is going to come through and conquer and over all of these um, crowns, 
you know, back <laughs> to the Heavenly Father, man, which the Heavenly Father has never lost, um, lose any of this ground, but, you know what I mean, he has given it into the, the hands of the wicked, you know what I mean, just to, in the end, to conquer and take down Easter to show that, look, you know what I mean, I am the Lord thy God, man. just like what he did um, in um, Egypt, right? So Yahusha is going to come back, conquer, you know what I mean, hand over the crown, and the Lord is going to do what, as it says here, um, Ask of me, and I will give thee the heathen for thy inheritance, and the uttermost part of the earth for thy possession. So everywhere, everything where you look at, man, that's what we're going to get for, for the possession. And shall break them with a rod of iron, and shall dash them in pieces as a supporter's vessel. Right? So be wise now, therefore, right? And be instructed, O ye judge, uh, judges of the earth. Right? Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice in trembling because all of these so called leaders, right, with upon the earth are gonna tremble. Right? They're gonna tremble with fear. Right? And the Lord Yahweh I mean, is gonna be with us. And as we said before, we are gonna be joint peers with Yahweh Shai. So e each blessings that Yahweh Shai receives, man, we being as elect of the nation of the Israel Lord's will. We are part of that number. The elect is going to rule with your shy. And then all of these blessings, the elect is going to be get in their portion. Right? Your shy being ahead, of course. Um, your shy the head, King David, and then the, 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 the elect in, in, in his order, specific order coming on down. All right? All right. Now verse 11 says, Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with tremble. Kiss the son, lest he be hungry, and ye perish from the way. Right? Uh, when his wrath is kindled but a little, blessed are they that put their trust in him. See? So that's what we're doing, man. We, 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 we're getting closer to Yahweh Shai. That's when the judgment comes, we are on the safe side. All right? Um, as for the other nations, well, look. The scriptures say, oh, we're going to break in pieces all our enemies, man. And that's that subjection. You know what I mean? The Lord will put a lot of spirit on these people. You know, even though when the Lord make him entry, it's going to be heartwhelming. The scriptures say, I'm going to put the spirit on a lot of these people, man, just for, for, for demonstrate. You know. So I go have some mature rebellion. But, you know, to the power and spirit of Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man, look. It is written. All right. So this is Deuteronomy 30 and verse 7. All right. And it reads, The Lord thy God will put all these curses upon thine enemies and upon them that hate, hate thee, uh, which persecuted thee. All right. Um, so basically what's that showing is that, look, we are going to get the power to really dish out judgment. And all of the curses that we have been through when you look in our streets and our society, as I said before, people can't look at us as anything except for niggers, you know what I mean, and all those by words. When we get our glorification, man, through the power and spirit of the how about you know, shy, you know, all of these curses are gonna be upon the other nation, and that's how we are gonna get to judge the nations. Right? Bless who bless thee, as the scripture say, and curse those who curse us. We are definitely gonna get that power for bless people right and put curses on people we're going to get for judge people because guess what the nation of israel is no longer going to go off man whether you believe it or not right the scripture say i'm going to take out the art of stone and put in the art of flesh you know what i mean and all of these the, the laws statutes and commandments is going to be written you know edward part that's what the scripture said saying so all of the blessings all of the curses which were on us you know what i mean Hey, we, we, we <laughs> all of that is going to come off of us, man. You know, and we are going to be, we're going to be in a position of power, right? We're going to be in a, in a position of power, right? This is one of the blessings and the curses. This is what we're going to be able to do. Um. So we start a verse. This is in Zechariah fourteen. And verse 16. 
And it shall come to pass that every one that is left of all the nations, which Israel shall even go up um, from here to here, um, which come up against Israel. Let me read that again. Zechariah 14, verse 16. And it shall come to pass that every one that is left of all the nations, right, which came against Israel, shall even go up from here to here to worship the king, the Lord of hosts, and to keep the feast of the tabernacle. Right? So all the nations of earth that came against Israel, man, you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, Native American Indians, all the nation which are ridiculed and come against you, right, is going to now get, get, give reverence to the Lord, Yahweh, Bashi, Yahweh, Shai, man. And guess what? They're going to reverence us, and we're going to send that reverence straight up through the pipeline to the Most High, man. Yahweh, Bashi, Yahweh, Shai, right? It's going to get all the glory, man, right? Um, verse 17 it reads and it shall come to pass that whosoever that, that whoso will not come up of all the families of the earth no it's not speaking about some people of out of all the families of the earth the scripture says whosoever will not come up right Right? Whosoever will not come up of all the families of the earth unto Jerusalem to worship the king, the Lord of hosts, even upon them shall no rain fall. Alright? Same, so guess what? We are going to have the power to really manipulate the, the elements. You know? We are going to be in our godlike stature. You know? We are going to determine. If rain falls here, everything in its season, all right, we're going to be judges, you know. We're going to we're going to bless whosoever bless us, as the scripture. So we keep on going back to that, man. You know what I mean? We're going to be determined for this for this short blessings, you know what I mean, and curse. So guess what? As we we're going into from day one, man, all of the earth is going to bless because through Israel, man, through the Israelite, will all the earth be blessed. That's what he said in the scriptures. You know what I mean? Whether or not you want to believe it or not, there's going to come a period in time when Israel is going to be restored. All right, the scripture said, Lord, I'm going to put back in Judges um, as before. You know what I mean? Since so we're going to have the power to do all of that, man. Um, let me just read the scripture, the, um, this final scripture of Hogo. Um, it said uh, it's Isaiah 2 I'm just start a verse 1 to get the point it's a beautiful scripture man and it goes in for sure yeah. alright so um, and it comes to uh, Isaiah 2 and verse 1 the word of Isaiah the son of Amos saw certain uh, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem alright and it shall come to pass in the last days, right? And it's speaking about the last days, right? And then we have to keep point out that because it not it just speak about the time to come. Because if you ask anybody we're in the last days, right? And this is what he's speaking about. In the last days that the mountain of the Lord's house, right, and mountain represent a government or a government body, right? That's in high position. Uh, it shall be established on top of the mountain, right? And shall be exalted above the hills, and all nations shall flow into it. Alright? And many people shall go and say, Come, let us go up to the house, to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob, and he will teach us of his ways, and we will walk in his path. Uh, for out of Zion shall go forth the law and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. Now, this is very important because know that. We are going to be established as kings and priests, as scripture says. Um, we are going to be unto the Lord a nation of kings and priests. Right? We are going to be that representative right, of the evil father and his son on the face of the earth. Man. You know what I mean? Through the chain of command and through us, the laws and statutes of Yahweh Bashim is going to be distributed throughout every corner of the earth. 
every single corner of the hurt man right and this exa is exactly is why every season the 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 the, 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 the um the the fruits will bear in its rightful season. You know, go have GMO. You know, go have a lot of these things. A lot of these things, you know, go have none, right? Because the earth are going to be restored to its full ruler and righteousness is going to reign, man, throughout the earth. Everything is going to be perfect because righteous men through the laws and statutes. Because when you're looking at laws and statutes of the scriptures, um, of Yahweh Shai, it, it, it's life itself. You know? It speak life, man. And if we are supposed to live it the way how it is written, or the way the Lord designed it for us to live, it will be you have a, 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 a utopia, right? So to speak. You know what I mean? You know? How people live with each other. How oh, oh, um, oh, 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 you, 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 you farm, you know, you, everything you, you put your hand to is going to be successful. You know? And that's, that's true blessing, man. That's true blessing. But only... When Israel get restored to that to that um to the throne, you know, in the rightful place, will the earth be blessed, man? Right? You know, the scripture speak of um a man when he have a fruit tree or so on and so forth, you know, you're supposed to let some people um the homeless, the passerby, you know, a man are passing by, you know, it, it shows you that um even the birds, the Lord feed man, you know. Well, what you have now, he's are killing out the birds, you know what I mean? Um the, the, the fruits are not growing in his rightful season because now you have GMO things and you have a lot of pollution in the here. Scripture say, "Oh, this is not our rest. Flee." You know. But when he's get restored, man, as Scripture said, the laws are gonna go out, and the laws govern every facet of society, man. It's pure righteousness in its fullest, and that's how the herd is gonna be blessed through Israel, man. Through you, so-called Negroes, the Spanish, Native Americans, man. The elect is gonna dis dish out through judgment, right? And all of the ones that will get put to death, speaking about in, in the nation of Israel, the, the two third of our people, they're going to come back, right, in, a, in a, um, the kingdom. And they're going to learn righteousness, right? And they're also going to be rulers, also, because all Israel shall be saved, man. And the blessing not, not just go to some Israelite, man, to all, you know. But you cannot be an Israelite if you are not from the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man. See? You can't be a spiritual Israelite, you know. See, for partaking of the blessing, man, because that's what a lot of people try to do right now. You know what I mean? All right. And he shall and he, and he shall judge among the nations and shall rebuke many people. And they shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. And nations shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war anymore. See? So that's a blessing, man. Isn't that a blessing? For no one say, you know, I keep a wedding and you don't know if America or Iran or Russia or all, any of these countries are going to drop a bomb in our wedding, killing millions of people. You don't know if there's a go be, there going to be an attack on your country because of some unlawful decree or because men fighting over um, strate strategic. Um, uh, they call it resources are, are strat strategic uh, points of um, transport, man. You know what I mean? You know, that, 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 that what a lot of people are fight over, man. You know, the Swiss Canal. You know what I mean? The, the, you know, the um, Belt and Road Initiative and all of these things, man. You know, greed. You know, resources. Men bomb your country forget the resources. A lot of them things will be a thing of the past, man. You know? Of course, all the nations them will have to pay um, tithes, or, or you know what I mean. But it's not gonna be unfair because what they're getting back is pure righteousness and pure liberty. It's not gonna be anything far fetched, you know what I mean. Of course. Um, So they said they're not going to learn war anymore, man. For the house of Jacob, O house of Jacob, come ye and let us walk in the light of your Haobah Shimeo Shai. All right? Um, and once can read the, 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 the scripture in its entirety, you know, but the, the point I want to get is that when we speak about even this passage, it shows you that 
you're not gonna learn war. The the laws are gonna be dish out basically go through the four corners of the earth, you know what I mean? And the p- the p- spirit of your Hawa Bashi is gonna be felt on the earth. Main point, your Hawa is gonna be here, man. The man where your body so called Jesus or whatever people want to call him nowadays, your Hawa is his name, is gonna be on the earth. And if everybody consider this man in you know, the Bible to be a blessed and a righteous man, then the society or the earth is also going to be blessed. Because there's not an, going to be set up another kingdom where I try to come against Yahusha. You understand? But, you know, people is going to go off. You know what I mean? Because people are going to be taught the laws and statutes, and they're going to get punishment just the same. Like how we know in a position where we're going off and we're, we're receiving punishment, you know. But um, I just want to end on that note, you know, that look, we are the children of Israel, man. The so called Negroes, Hispanics, Native American Indians. And we, through the promise of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, is going to rule this society, right? We're going to rule this society, and we're going to rule it through righteousness and Yahushai is going to be with us and Yahushai is, is, um, is going to establish an order, right? And through joint tears with Yahushai, the same blessings we read about in the scripture, we are going to decide for let the rain fall, we are going to decide through righteousness, blessings and cursings, man, you know? So to all the earth, the families of all the earth, Israel is going to judge. And through righteousness, we're going to bless. The earth is going to come back to its full form. You know what I mean? You know, with that once I give our own, give our praise and honor to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahushai, Bashim, Kodash, the honors to the elders and the apostles of great millstone. Shalom to you, brothers and highways, and the Bible is preaching and teaching the word. This word in sincerity and in truth. Shalom.